it's only a matter of time before former Huntsville police officer William Ben Darby is set to be released from prison. The former police officer's conviction was reversed by the Alabama Court of Appeals and a certificate of judgment was issued earlier today. And again, that is our top story today. Thank you for joining us. And once again, while Darby's conviction for the 2018 shooting death of Jeffrey Parker at Parker's home was overturned, that does not mean this case is over. The Madison County District Attorney's Office says it plans to try Darby again. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us now live from the Madison County Courthouse. And Emily, there are a lot of new details coming out today. Where do things stand right now? Well, right now it is a bit of a waiting game for William Ben Darby. I spoke with his attorneys earlier today and they told me that it could be any minute that he is released from the Limestone Correctional Facility. Anxious, mm -hmm. tired. Ready to be out. Ready to be out. Former Huntsville Police Officer William Ben Darby's attorneys tell me his pending release from the Limestone Correctional Facility is news they've been waiting for. We're ready to see him be released. We're ready for him to go be with his family. Wednesday, the Alabama Court of Criminal Appeals issued a certificate of judgment that confirms a recent decision made by the court to reverse Darby's conviction based on his appeal. The appeals court said it overturned the conviction because the trial judge failed to instruct the jury to continue consider Darby's actions based on what a reasonable police officer would do in the same situation. In 2021, Darby was sentenced to 25 years in prison for the shooting death of Jeffrey Parker at Parker's home in 2018. At the time of the shooting, Darby was on duty as a Huntsville police officer. Darby's attorneys argue that he acted as he was trained to do. The police are under a different standard of care, a different duty in an on-duty shooting that is different from the standard that's applied to someone in the street that uh, is confronted and ends up shooting someone in self-defense. With his conviction overturned, his case will head back to a trial court. Darby's attorneys say they're ready for round two. He's presumed innocent uh, at this point. Um, and it's you know kind of like the whole process restarts. Madison County District Attorney Rob Broussard said they do plan to try the case again. Although this time, in addition to a new jury, Darby will face a new judge. Wednesday, presiding judge Donna Pate recused herself from the case. Circuit Judge Alan Mann is now assigned to it. The timeline for this process is still up in the air as it hinges on Darby's release from prison. Uh, it just takes time for that paperwork to trickle down. We're going to loudly and proudly say not guilty again and uh, try the case again if necessary. Now it's unclear when Darby will be released and when he is, he will still be facing that murder charge, although this time he will get a second shot at his case. Live in Huntsville tonight, Emily Mosner, News 19.